So any day now, these baby ducklings right here inside of this nest box is about to hatch. Unfortunately, our gray winged trumpeters right here are the tigers or lions of the aviary. Just like that, we have Bolivian ring teals that are about to hatch. Nothing yet. She completely hid all the, the eggs in there right now. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here at the ranch. As you can see, we have a ton of food and a lot of fruit, and that means we have to go feed our fruit-eating birds. Let's head to the aviary, and let me show you these beautiful birds. Inside of our aviary, we got our rural rules that are doing absolutely amazing. Our trumpeters we put a bowl here every single morning. We put a bowl here every single morning. You can hear the trumpeters. They're absolutely having a blast. And then, as soon as we come over here, as you can see, the ducks, everybody knows, it is time to eat. The new birds flew out. The trumpeters flew out. Everyone flies out, but they're gonna come back in to eat right now. Check this out. We'll put that there. The other birds went onto this bowl. You guys kind of see them through the through the mulberry tree a little bit. I know you guys see them. Oh, so there, let's take off from the grape. Right inside. Super excited. Very, very flappy flap flap. Oh, look at the butterfly. Oh yeah. Look at them. Watch these guys. Give them a second. Watch how they swallow these grapes and blueberries whole. A mixture in there today is a papaya, guava grown here on the ranch, grapes, blueberries, a little bit of apple, pear, and a soft build diet. Let's see what he goes for first. Ooh, papaya, two squares right there, gone. Pretty awesome. But as you guys did today, you guys clicked on today's video because it's the second year here producing waterfowl on our ranch here inside of our aviary. And it's starting to become really, really fun. So we have right here, we have some uh, waterfowl diet. We have a little bit of scratch and corn. We like to throw our scooper there. So then we come over here. We give our other uh, food bowl over here. As you can see, our white-faced tree ducks, silver wood ducks, white cheek pintails. Everyone is doing absolutely amazing. But the first group of ducks that we had actually hatch out here on our ranch were our ring teals. Our ring teals are very, very good breeders. They breed absolutely amazing. And we have six beautiful babies inside of our little brooder section. And I'm lying. The first ducks that actually were hatched out were our white cheek pintails. We have one silver and three normals. They're all doing absolutely amazing. They're about a week old right now and they're doing great. But over here, I have my ladder set up right now because inside of there we have another nest. And as you guys know, if I am not on top of these ducks, making sure when they start sitting to when they about to hatch, so about 24 days to start hatching, I have to make sure because if those baby ducks come out, unfortunately, our gray winged trumpeters right here are the tigers are lions of the aviary. They are very, very aggressive towards new animals inside of the enclosure that can't get away fast enough. And the baby ducklings, as you guys know, are baby ducklings. They're not quick and they're not fast and they will eat them up. They really do eat them up. Um, I know people have said, lock them up, throw them somewhere else, do this, do that. Well, I do, I don't, but this is their enclosure. They protect this enclosure. I really like them staying here. And let me throw you into the clips of me collecting all the baby ducks right now. Just like that, we have Bolivian ring teals that are about to hatch. We're gonna put our hand inside of here right now and show you. Little babies. Bunch of protected moms down there and babies, but we gotta get them all because of that. Uh-oh, dad's coming in. We got mom out, my hand's full of poo. The babies are in there. And uh, it's time to collect them all. So go back in sit on the eggs that need to be still sat on and we'll at least get this group out first all right we got five day old living ring seals they're about to be ready to jump out of the nest box as you can see they're trying to jump out of the container we are going to have to check that box in a few hours once my dad gets out so you hold the ladder uh because i guarantee there is another mom in there that our baby's about to hatch because they started laying the same exact time mom's gonna go back in there and coast the rest of the baby ducks out, help them get out of their eggs, and then we'll go back again. There's probably another three or four more we have to grab, and then um, we'll have a nice little group of Bolivians that we have to raise up as well. Gorgeous little babies. So any day now, these baby ducklings right here inside of this nest box is about to hatch. So I have these little doors. This nest box is really, really awesome. I got this one off Amazon, and I like it like a lot. It's a really cool one. So let me get this ladder in place. This trumpeter is already waiting for me to like, you know, come over here Cassandra's a fire fire girl so she's gonna make sure this is a uh, secured but I don't really do things too secured because I don't really know what the heck I'm doing bro hold on back up let's go this way more all right here we go ready all right this is what we have to do you guys to get this footage here we go is there anything in there 
and nothing yet. She completely hid all the, the eggs in there right now. But as you can see, there should be hatching any day now. It's gonna be really dope. All right, so we're moving right along. And you can see we, our guava tree is starting to sprout a lot. We're gonna have some good guava coming soon. And then Cassandra just mentioned something real quick. Our pond apple tree has completely shedded all its leaves. But if you look really closely, in about one to two weeks, this thing is about to look absolutely beautiful. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six pond apple trees inside of this aviary. And when they molted, it made this place into a leaf litter box. That intake bay was a pain in the butt. I'm gonna show you what we had to do, me and my dad, because that pump, you need two people to put that pump on, but once you get it on, this pond is crystal. Ooh, you almost got me there, buddy. You almost got me there. Watch yourself, freaking crab spider. You just move them out of the way? Yep, he'll, he'll throw his thing back up. But yeah, everything's looking great. We have a lot of little seeds right now above the net because of these trees over here. They're molting as well. Everything is blooming, it's coming together from spring. You can see the gumbo limbo tree as well. No leaves, but it is 100% live. This is the way you can tell right here. If it snaps, it's dead. But if it's nice and juicy and nice and like rubbery, it's a live tree. But let's keep on moving. Everything's looking great. Everything's looking amazing. The intake bay is nice and clear now. But check this out. We have to clean it, go through it, clean it, go through it. Because we had all of these leaves inside of there. And you can see if you look closely, there was a bunch of snails down there too, but that's all right. There's a lot of snails that just, it's crazy where just snails just pop up out of nowhere when you didn't even put any snails in here. But um, other than that, you guys, everything looks great inside of this aviary. It's a beautiful ecosystem of awesome stuff. Now let's go and check on the baby ducks. It's been about four or five days now. Let's see how they're doing. So we really can't get too close to the new birds. They stay pretty far in their distance. And there's two of them right there, as you can see. Um, but you guys are probably wondering, where is the third one? Well, unfortunately, here on the ranch, I don't know what goes on on the ranch. I have like a curse. And the curse is, if I buy three animals at one time, the Noah's Ark thing kicks in and only lets me have a pair. And then if they produce, then the babies are allowed to stay in the ranch, right? I swear, it's like a curse on the ranch. Anytime I have a trio of animals that I've per buy and bring them on the ranch, they one of them is going to die. It happens every time it's the weirdest thing in the world what do you guys think about that if i buy thing in pairs everything's in pairs i am good the animals do great but if i buy that one extra one it's just it's just not awesome it's just freaking die i don't understand what it is it happens every time it is it mind blows me and i say it to my mom i say it to everybody and i said yep so like a couple of my friends are like yeah just don't buy in trios just done and i just try not to but that bird it came in a three i was like you know what? let's try it Three days later, the juvenile one disappeared. The two mature pair stay and doing great. So hopefully they start nesting and then they will have a whole colony on their own. But enough talking here. Let's go see those baby ducks. All right, so right here we have two one week old white cheek pintails. This is a normal colored and this is a silver colored. My pair actually throws both colors, which is absolutely amazing. Now let me show you guys what the little ring teals look like. And then right here we have two ring teals. These guys are a smaller species of duck from Bolivia. And they're absolutely amazing too. If you guys are interested in these ducks, just make sure you're following BlakesExoticAnimalRanch.com because these guys will be available on the site when they are fully feathered and ready to go to the new homes. These guys will not be pinned wings, so that means these guys will be able to fly. So you have to have an enclosed enclosure or aviary or something for them that they won't be able to fly out in. So, always tell you guys, please make sure you guys do your research before you purchase anything from my website. I have information on my website, but if you guys want to find more, it is very, very easy. I have people ask me some of the dumbest questions in the world. Well, to me, might be dumb, but to you guys, you guys probably don't know. But if I don't answer you guys, I'm sorry. I have a lot of DMs all the time, but it's a very, very simple thing you guys could do. Go on Google, type in your question, and it'll come right up. And then, you just read a couple different things, and you find three or four different questions that all come to the same exact answer well there's your answer right there that's how i find a lot of information too and a lot of friends that keep these animals and all that stuff as well but hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at blake's exotic animal Ranch. make sure you give this video a thumbs up put your post notifications on subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the more videos here at the ranch we always have a tremendous amount of content for you guys all the time because we have so many awesome amazing exotic animals here at the ranch i'll see you guys later peace out everyone